See, this is an AC monitor that uses, uh, let us see, 220 up to 240 volts, and uh, that is 50 to 60 hertz. And the rating is uh, 40 watt. This is from the old uh, washing machine. Uh, this AC motor is a little bit different because uh, it has a commutator like DC uh, motor. It has a commutator and uh, two carbon brush and with a stator coil. First, let's check or let's separate the uh, connection for the uh, carbon brush and the connection of the stators. This is very easy. We can use our multimeter to check which one is from brush. As you can see, this is the brush. Maybe if I zoom it, you can see. Yeah, here is the commutator, and this is the brush. So I can connect from here to check which line is that. Actually, this cable is black, so this is this cable. In the other commutator coil or the carbon brush is this one actually I can simply take pull this wire out so we know that these two wires are from the brush and we can check this is the stator coil the stator winding so we can check because the stator winding has its own impedance or we can measure it in ohms its resistive value since this motor is the high power that means we're expecting very low resistance here actually it is below four or three ohms so we can see that it actually reaches 2.3 ohms that means this is the stator winding so in order to use this motor uh, as its capacity with a 12 volt battery what we have to do is separate these two stators and these two uh, carbon brush and we can make a connection between one one can carbon brush with one stator coil you we can connect this one we can connect this one and actually we can put a tape here because the battery is uh, around 20 amp so to prevent short circuit it doesn't have to touch even the body so we can isolate this one and this and this we can take to the battery depending on the direction we can change the polarity of the battery to reverse the direction of our motor so we need to put a tape here also these are two uh, 12 volt batteries from uh, a UPS so uh, I just connected them parallelly positive to positive negative to negative 
I just want to increase the uh, uh, the current, not the voltage. So we can measure the voltage, the DC voltage now of each battery. From here, this is, you can see 12.9. This is, as it is connected uh, parallelly, it reaches the same voltage because voltage in parallel gives the same result. So we can connect our motor and check. This is moment of the truth. Okay. Here we go. Voila. Maybe you can hear its sound. You can guess its torque. It is running very high. You can't stop it. I think you can see it. Okay. If we want to change the direction, what we should do is change this connection. The commutator was connected to this red wire. Now I just changed it to the other way. Now let us check. Extend this one. Uh, we better put some tape now let us check voila you can see Let me demonstrate by the paper. <coughs> if we want to change the direction, we have to disconnect from here and connect this to here and use this and this. Then the direction will be reversed. So if you have any other questions, please uh, inbox me or Use my email, masterantix at gmail.com. Then I will give you another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.